Wait. Can you see this? No. You're in your armpits. Oh, can you see this? <laughs> Five inches above your head. Can you see this? Yup! What's up? No Fear Friday, man. Oh, no Fear Friday, you know what we do? Punch we fear? We sound. Yes, we do. In the face? Yes, we do. <laughs> do I, we I don't know, sound? do you? <laughs> was it a question or a statement? Yes. No, Christy was right. That's what no. we do. And we sound our barbaric. Yup. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> We Can sound our bar, Eric. We can't start over. We're this We far. can't start no, over. No, we can't start over. That's the beauty of pause. We sound our barbaric. Ye that's me drawing it on the chalkboard because that's what he did in the movie. <laughs> Y'all, you don't remember that? I can still hear Robin Williams saying that like deep inside. Like that just is down in me. We good? Don't get weird on me when you get weird. It r goes weird. I don't even know where we are. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Seriously. It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So. Josh, please edit that. Nah, everything was fine until we got here. So, uh, so barbaric. Yeah. So what we do today is we love to talk concepts of faith from God's word. So right. if you're new to the show, we're going to confess the word of God while we drink some coffee in here. It's a daily Devo type show. Get in here. We'll be right back. for the word of the day. Here it comes. Psalms 37, 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Yes. And God yes, is, yes, yes, yes. he's directing our steps. He's ordering our steps. Yeah. And it says that God delights in the fact of us stepping out. Mm. And, and I love faith. that because God says he cheers you on. It's like we have the host of heaven behind us. That's, that's from, it's the cloud of witnesses. You know, um, there's this one David Crowder song from back in the day. And at the end of the song, the song's all about this. This is about the cloud of witnesses and mm. you taking steps of faith and moving forward. And then they just have this for like three minutes. It's an audience just clapping and cheering. And they're trying to give you an image of that's what happens in heaven when you're stepping towards the Lord. You're, you're living for God. You're, mm. you're going out and fighting the good fight of faith. And so today we cheer you on. We encourage you to keep moving. We encourage you to step out. Where is it that God's calling you to step out? Um, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. That's right. You gotta <laughs> live on the good. edge. Uh, uh, like I said earlier in the week, uh, uh, one of my favorite lines in any song is Eminem says uh, in his song, uh, what's the name of uh, Oh my gosh, what's the name of the song? I have no idea. The, the main one from 8 Mile. Dun, 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 dun. Lose Yourself. In Lose Yourself by Eminem, he says, a <laughs> normal knows. life is boring, right? Normal life's boring. That's yeah. not where we want to be. We don't want to live a, a normal, average life. No one dreams of average. Does true. anybody dream of, oh man, I just, I just really want to think about, you know, if you're a baseball player, no one sits there and says, man, I can just, I dream of myself hitting 220. <laughs> but okay, but isn't it funny though no. that that we we don't, you're right, we don't dream average. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we don't dream average, but so many times we just want to be, we want things to be average. We want things to yeah. be quiet. We want things to be, be still. We want things to be safe. safe. But God's given us this big dream. And I love this verse because it says the steps, our steps, our direction, our pathway there, they're ordered by the Lord. Yes. So he has this path. He has, it's like those, those dance steps. He has that all laid out. Good works ordained. Yes. And then it says now he, he delights yes. in, in, in the way that he's directed us. Mm. Um, that's the, that's the big dreams. That's, that's, the, big that's dreams. the, that's the, the big stuff that we have. So when we want to play it safe and we want things to just shh and just mm. kind of, you mm. know, be in the background and, you know, yeah. um, don't want any, you know, don't want to get in the water because once I touch the water, waves happen, you know, and it's. <laughs> We just kind of sit still. Yeah, you stay in the boat. We stay in the boat. That's right. But God says, I have have this amazing, extraordinary, bigger than you can ever imagine plan for your yes. life. Yes. I just need you to have the, the faith to step in the steps that I've already prepared for you, in the path that I've already laid out for you. And, and God says that he's already gone before us yes. and paved a way. So he's already like 
And when you're cutting through, oh, when you're hiking or climbing up a mountain or something, I, I can't even watch it if it's on a movie. I have to close my eyes because it like makes me sick to my stomach. But like when you're, you're hiking up a mountain, I don't like to be the first one because <laughs> I don't like all this stuff. I like somebody to just, okay, kind of lead me into the way because I don't want to, there's too much stuff going on. Um, I don't want to have to figure out where I'm going, but that's what God does for us. Yeah, that's what Jesus does. He says, I've already paved a way for you. Yeah. Just walk in it. Yeah. Faith is spelled R-I-S-K. And if you're not stepping out, you're not living in faith. You're not living by faith. You're stagnant. You're, you know, and no one wants, you know, uh, we talk about places we like to go to where we can see bodies of water that have movement to them, rivers right. and oceans and all those kinds of things. No one wants to go sit next to a cesspool for a while because there's no movement. It stinks. And it's, it stinks. It's nasty and all that. Right. And, and uh, a lot of times, even just when, you, when you're down in uh, like the doldrums, like the, the you're just down. The reason is, is when's the last time you took a step of faith? That's good. When's the last time you stepped in a direction that God's calling you to, hmm. to do something that, you know, this is beyond me. This is something I'm not even sure it'll work out, how it will work out. But you don't know until you decide to get out of your safe space. And, and not live in that, like what Pastor Christy was saying, we don't want to live in that, that safe zone. Um, it, it, there is something to us. See, there's something, I even believe there's, there's a difference between safety and comfort mm -hmm. because God can comfort you in tribulation. And you look at Paul, the apostle, and a lot of the apostles, all of them, when they were following Jesus, there was danger at times, but God comforted them all the way through right. what they were going through. So just remember, you feel like, I don't know, if I step out, what if it doesn't happen? Well, let me ask you this. What if it does? And why aren't we acting like God is true to his word and that it will happen? That's where I stand. I stand and That's say, good. well, if God said it, and then I'm going to step out according to it. I know for sure that I can't walk on water if I don't step out of the mm. boat. <laughs> So I'm going to do it. And if I go down, I'm going down believing. <laughs> it's just a better way to live. There's more adventure, more. I, I, I just think there's more freedom. Right. There's more joy. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We've been living on there. I don't even know, like <laughs> in ministry and just doing this. I mean, my, the, our family, you know, um, the Earl family, we started a, a church out here and a place we'd never been to 2000, uh, uh, 2000 miles away from home uh, when we moved out here in 1984. And we eventually started the church and when my family, actually, uh, the church, we, we had, my dad started a church when we were younger and some weird stuff happened and that church didn't end up surviving. So we ended up, so, what I love about Pops is that he, he, he stepped out again though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, okay, that didn't happen, but I'm going to step out now again. And this time my brother Mark and I, my brother Mark's lead pastor at Living Word Scottsdale, we pastor Living Word Gilbert. And before that, it was all of us together planning the church that's now Living Word Gilbert. And man, wasn't it awesome that God honored his word and we said, okay, though uh, though you fall, he's gonna get back up. And so mm -hmm. we, by God's strength, his grace, his mercy, and by us just trusting God at his word. That's right. You step out and you do what God says. And then how many people have come to Christ because my dad stepped out and he was the one that, that jumped on that path and said, I'll go to weird spots, weird Absolutely. places. Mm -hmm. Make life weird, man. Make it weird. Like, make it not make sense. Like, when, you, when it doesn't make a lot of sense, that's a sign that you're living by faith. Amen? I mean, that's right. You know, the enemy's not going to attack somebody who's not threatening his dominion and his little kingdom right. that he has. You're going the same direction. So, yeah. So if it's safe, you know, what What are you doing? What are you doing as a believer to trouble the waters of the enemy and trouble of the world? The you know, you, you want to make a splash. You want to make a, a, you know, a bang. You, you want to do something that's impactful um, for God's kingdom. And you might not even understand what that is, but as you're faithful every single day in just what God has in front of you, um, those are the steps that God has ordered. Ordered. Those are the plans. Um, so, you know, it's not even jumping from, you know, one extreme thing to the next extreme thing. It's sometimes it's just our day to day faithfulness, just stepping up, mm, just getting it. up when we feel tired or beat down or 
That's I know, just defeated or whatever, is, is getting up and saying, you know what? This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. That's a step of faith. So keep pushing forward because the enemy is trying to hold you back. Keep pushing forward and keep fulfilling your God-given destiny, um, whatever that looks like for you. But that's the splash. So splash. If, if, if your life isn't crazy, um, if you're not having random things happen um, at random times, if you are not feeling at, at moments in your life attacks from the enemy, me, what kind of splash are you making? How are yes. you, how are you threatening him? You know, take a look at it. And if not, man, jump in and start jump living in. big and loud for Jesus. Jump in, live loud for him, man. Take some risks, step out, get out of the boat and go in the direction towards the Lord Jesus. If nothing else, you're going to be closer to him. And that's the best place that we can be. Amen. Let's do our confessions together today. I step out by faith today in the direction that God's called me. God strengthen me and help me. Here we go. I, I step, step out by faith, faith today in the direction, direction God's, God's called me. me. God, God strengthen me and help, help me. me. Amen. Let's do number two. Holy Spirit, lead me to places I've never been, but that I'm called to. Nudge me in the direction I need to step into or out from. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now make this proclamation. It's kind of a prayer at the same time. Here we go. Holy Spirit, lead me to places I've never been, but that I'm called to. Nudge me in the direction I need to step into or out from. Let's go. Amen. I love them guys, man. We I love do you. Too. C2 family, man. You guys are the best. Great week of shows. So glad you're with us. Be interactive. We love it when you comment. Share the show on this Friday, man. That would be awesome. And hope to see you at church at Living Word Gilbert if you're in the downtown Gilbert area or the East Valley area. Come to downtown G-Town. That's on Sunday, right. man. That's the place to be. But wherever you are in the nation, make sure you get into church. But I just want to leave you with this before we break for the weekend. Um, if you're going through trouble, if you're going through tribulation, just count it joy because God's getting ready to do something amazing in your life. Amen. God bless. We'll see, see you, you Monday. Monday.